We're going to start this fly with a size 12 standard dry fly hook and brown 70 denier thread. And if at any time you want to see these videos in action, click the first link below where it says fishing videos and you can go watch us fishing these flies. So you want to get your clump of deer hair, you can see about, about a half inch of clump of deer hair. It's going to look all messy like this, you want to pull all the webbing out, you just want to grab it just by the tips because the only things you're going to really use. Let's grab it by that, clean all the extra hair, the webbing out. Um, some people use a brush to brush it out, I just never used one, but you can use a brush, brush it out. Get it ready and put it down in your deer hair stacker. Okay, brief little thing if you never use the hair stacker. You want to stack the hair in here on this top of this comb part. Then you want to hit it hard on the table, real hard on the table, and pound it. I'd pound it a good couple times. And you, know, you can't really over pound it too much to really hurt anything. And then you want to, that'll line up all the tips for you. See here's some of that webbing that I didn't get all the way out so you just got to pick that out make sure it's all out but you can see how it lines up the tips of the deer hair I'll make sure they're all lined up okay when you get your deer hair out of your stacker you want to line that up for the length of the wing which will be the same length as the shank of the hook for a wing on a, any other dry fly and you want to tie that down now the, the deer hair facing forward you want to flare but you don't want to take off them other two fingers pinching the deer hair towards the back of the hook you want to keep them pinched and wrap oh uh, i put about 10 good wraps on there tightening them down good and you want the front to flare and then you can trim it off. Now you want to trim off that excess deer hair. You want to taper that towards the back of the hook so you have a tapered body. Keep a hold of that. You don't want that to flare until after you have it trimmed. Trim that off. Trim the hairs that might be underneath the hook. Trim it up nice and start to taper the body. Now for the tail, you want to use the same deer hair, but you want to use about four or five strands of deer hair for the tail. You're going to tie that in, and you're going to wrap your thread right up to where you cut off that, the big bulk of that. As you can see it in the video, the big bulk right there, you want to cut it off right before that. That way it'll make an even taper all the way to the tail. Now, by the way, when you get down, then you want to start wrapping thread wraps around the tail. Make them loose wraps, otherwise you're going to flare your tail out and you don't really want to do that.
Now you can pull the deer hair back and you're gonna push it with your fingernail to flare it out. And then you're gonna put some thread wraps right in front of that deer hair where you bended it back. And you wanna tuck, when you go under to the bottom of the hook, you wanna pull that, your thread back in and push that back and put a couple thread wraps in the front. Now, you want to take your thread back to where you started the tail so you can dub this fly. Remember, loose thread wraps. You don't want that tail to, that tail to flare out like crazy. And you're going to put some dub, really little bit of dubbing because you got a pretty, we got a pretty thick body build up already, so you don't want to make a really fat fly. So, light on the dubbing. And uh, you want to wrap that all the way up. Put some be right be against the back of the wing then push the wing back a little bit put some right up against the front of the wing got two thread wraps of dubbing right in front of the wing and then start your head of the fly now we're going to show you the front of the fly what it looks like from the front you can see that half moon nice flare Hope you like that caparadun. We're going to be fishing a lot more caparadun, so and they're a lot easier to tire than the cat skills. And like I said before, if you want to see any of these fish, these flies in action, click the first link below where it says fishing videos and go check out our fishing channel. So thank you for watching our video. Hope you like that one. Get some of these in your box and keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish. A sore lip. You guys have a good day. Good luck out in the water. Or maybe I'll see you there.